You know, I'm feeling really good about understanding more about myself. I've never been in a technical training before that prioritized the conversations around healing and our racial equity. And I don't think there's an easy way to do it. Through the challenge or complexity of it, I'm finding, I'm learning more about myself. And of course that makes me a better, stronger person. You can sometimes learn the hard ways that actually some of these softer skills can be just as important, like your ability to sort of manage yourself and your confidence and your emotions. And the fact that this cohort sort of strikes the balance between sort of concrete skills and emotional intelligence, I think is great. It's hard in philanthropy to feel like you belong, particularly um, as a younger person or as a person of color. Um, you oftentimes have to be the only voice in the room. And so it's really energizing to not be the only voice in the room and to, in fact, um, hear other people who voice their ideas before you even do it. It's incredible to learn from and with a group of people who are at a similar career stage and are going through similar issues and really bounce ideas off them and learn from what they've already done. Just do it. Do it. Do it and um, be prepared to like fully commit your mental and emotional energy to it because you, you learn a lot. I think philanthropy is going through a period of change and that change is being driven by um, a completely new set of people coming into it that had never been a philanthropy before. People of color, people from backgrounds that are not philanthropic um, and I think that we are driving that change and so what I want to see in philanthropy 20 years from now is uh, a completely new set of norms.